For those of you who are taking Writing One, a lot of the paragraphs that we'll be developing, we'll be creating them in Google Docs online and sharing those uh, with the entire class. So this video uh, will address how to do that. So from the main page, making sure you've already signed in and you can verify that by checking the top right hand corner of your screen where your ID should appear. We're going to go to pages and descriptive paragraphs. This same page will be accessible from the modules section as well. But this is a page that we'll use uh, particularly for descriptive paragraphs, but we'll have a page very much like this for each of the types of paragraphs that we'll be developing this semester. But I'd like to explain how to create a Google Doc and then bring that into this page as a link. So the first step is to make sure that you have a Gmail account, and if you don't have one, you'll need to create one. Once you have created a Gmail account and you have signed in, you want to go to Google Drive. So once you create a Google account, you'll have access to a Google Drive, which works very much like files on your own hard drive. So if you look here, you'll see that I have different folders as well as different files here at the bottom. When you begin, you, you won't have any, but you can create, obviously, uh, the files that you wish and organize them however you wish. I would recommend for the purpose of our course, maybe creating a folder where you can keep and organize the files that, uh, that you create for this course. So, the first step we'll want to do is hit create and document. You'll see here you have different options. You can create a PowerPoint presentation, a spreadsheet. You can create a questionnaire or a form. And they also have a, a drawing program. But for our purposes, we'll create a document. First thing you want to do is change the name. So you want to title your document or your paragraph, and you'll develop your paragraph. Once you have completed your paragraph, notice here that once I stop uh, typing, Google automatically saves uh, your work. So it saves it periodically, practically instantaneously. And so there's really no need to save your document. It's always saved. So uh, that's another benefit of using Google Docs. Not only can you access it from any computer, but uh, you really essentially never lose your work. Now, what you want to do first is to share your document. So you want to share this uh, with me. And uh, to do that, you'll click Share. And you'll hit Change. Click anyone with this link save. Here at the bottom you'll want to invite uh, me and this is my email address here as it appears here. It's chopped off but it ends with uh, .com but this is my email address and you enter my email address here. If you want to send me a message you can include a message and click share and save. Now before you click share and save and close this window you want to make sure that you copy this link here at the very top. And then you can close out of here and go back to our page in Canvas and click Edit This Page. And you'll type in the title of your paragraph, then your name. And then you can delete this extraneous text. This is just a text to guide you along. Select the text where you'd like to create the link. Click this icon at the top and paste your link. And you'll notice now that you have a link and click Save. Now when others go to click this hypertext, this should take the user directly to your document. So let's try that, see if that works. And there you have it.
So this way everyone can uh, view your work and uh, later when, if we decide to start sharing amongst ourselves, amongst the entire class, uh, I'll explain how to do that, but essentially you can choose who you'd like to view and edit your document. So the people that you include here at the bottom are those who can actually edit. Everyone else who has this link that you've copied and pasted are only able to view uh, your work. If you want to change that and you want anyone can change uh, your or edit your document, simply change this option and click Save. So we'll talk in class uh, to the degree we'd like to share our documents. Um, but you have different options working in uh, Google depending on how you'd like to work. So give it a shot. And if you do have any questions, feel free to contact me by sending me an email via Canvas. Or obviously see me in class. I look forward to seeing your work.